Hi everyone, today is Sunday, July 17th, 2016, and this character in Django Unchained basically represents Michelle Obama, just like Sylvie in The Musketeers does, and just like this new companion that's coming into Doctor Who does. See the Eye of Horus right there that's on top of the Illuminati Pyramid? You even see the Freemason checkerboard symbolism right there? And then, this thing that says, are you shouting at thin air is appropriate. Um, because, like, you can shout this stuff to your heart's content at people, but they still won't believe you. Well, certain people will and certain people won't. But most people will think you're mad and crazy. So, I mean... Even Donna could even be doing, like, Freemason hand gestures right here. But you see the blonde hair representing the woman of the Bible right there. And you see that Donna is wearing blue for Jesus Christ. <clears throat> now, this Charlize Theron character in Snow White and the Huntsman represents just, like, this character played by Jean March in this Willow film. And it even represents just like Emperor Palpatine in Star Wars as well. Because they all pretty much represent Satan. Because, like, the evil side. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> I mean, like. But even um when Charlize Theron like shaved her hair for the Mad Max Fury Road film, that represents her like um trying to take away from how God naturally made her. <clears throat> By the way, I think that Charlize Theron is like an outstanding actress and she's really sexy and everything. Just putting that out there. <clears throat> But, uh, I mean, there's this whole thing about this character in Willow trying to sacrifice a baby. And that baby actually, actually represents Jesus Christ. Because it, it, it doesn't matter whether the baby's female or male or not. It's, it's about what it represents. Like, that, like there was even a thing about, like, that they were even trying to sacrifice a baby in this Drive Angry film as well. With Nicolas Cage in it <clears throat> and um the weird thing is both of these sacrificial scenes were both at the ends of both of these movies so yeah it basically represents the same thing like N nicholas cage basically represents the ghost rider coming with the idolatry because the skull represents idolatry <clears throat> and and you see you, you see the fire down here Representing the representing the fire in hell, and then you see the Amber Heard character represents the woman of the Bible because of her blonde hair, and, and you see the V for the Fifth Age right there, and th this um, the reason it says angry here is because loads of people are getting angry in the world. Like, people were angry about the Brexit thing. Like, pe people were so angry that they're even, like, shooting and killing people. <clears throat> like, let me just show the, the, this clown picture that we always show real quick. Takes some time to load sometimes. I don't know why. It'll come up in seconds. Here we go. Right. So this guy is a skinwalker, right? He pops it in and out of people at a leisurely pace. But, but I mean, it, it like soon it's not going to be a leisurely pace anymore. He's just going to get completely berserk and out of control. <clears throat> Like <clears> that, he 
he is the guy that makes people angry because he's possessing people. He bring he brings the anger. Because he's the fifth angel with the key to open the abyss. And he brings this idol worship. See the eye of Horus again right there? <clears throat> I know I know some people are are watching this, they're skeptical and say and they might say, Oh that that is not the high eye of Horus. But I'm just saying that's what it represents. So, I mean, like even even um Jean Marsh, who was in this Willow film, playing the villain, was also in in this the Ghost Hunter program. Also playing the villain. <clears throat> and um you you see like the the red for Satan and the blue for Jesus Christ. This character here represents the woman of the Bible. And you see you see the green for Islam right there as well. The, this is Captain America's side, this is Iron Man's side. And this, the Queen's nose thing, could even be to do with Queen Elizabeth. Like, like here's Amber Heard, right? And she's wearing a blue dress for Jesus Christ. Like, she, she pro she's probably not even religious. So I, d I don't know, to be honest. But the point is, loads of people just do stuff. And they don't even realise, like, the full scale of what they're doing. Like, they may not detect any religious meaning in it whatsoever, but it doesn't take away from the fact that things are playing out according to the Bible all day long. Like, <clears throat> I mean, you even see her sexy bare feet here. And that, that basically represents that she has to have her feet washed to get into heaven. By holy water. Just as Jesus washed his apostles' feet. We've said this many times in many videos now. Come back to that. God, those, those are really sexy feet. But, um... Yeah, so you see the white for heaven right here. And then, <clears throat> see it says sex and punishment. Well, this actually represents when the woman of the Bible gets granted the wings of a great eagle. And she ascends into heaven. Then Jesus comes and punishes people for their sins. So Satan's already started doing it already. But obviously Satan's punishments are way harsher than Jesus says. Because Jesus and God are forgiven. So, you know. Just be aware of this stuff. Like even, even things like this Hot Wheels logo... Has got symbolism in it. Everything's got symbolism in it. Like. Like. The will. Part. Obviously. Represents the, the, the will of the great tribulation. Just like you have wagon wheels and everything. <clears throat> but. um, The hot part. Represents just like hell is hot. And just like. It will be really hot at the end of at the end of days, the earth will. Because there'll just be so much fire about. <clears throat> like, even, even the wheel might actually 
go burning hot at one stage because Jesus will probably turn it so fast. Like, <clears throat> see, see, it says vengeance here, just like you have that Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance film. How do you like the fountain? Did you see the whip then? That represents Indiana Jones's whip. Let's just be clear about this. Charlize Theron has two sides to her. She has the side where she plays evil and satanic characters. But then she has the side where she plays good characters. Like, for example, in Hancock, I think she was good, if I remember rightly. But uh, when she's playing her good role, she actually represents the woman of the Bible. That's why she's, that's why she's got blonde hair. And you see her sexy feet. And it represents that she has to have her feet washed to get into heaven by holy water. See, see them again there. And even here as well. But uh, you see the blue for Jesus Christ and the white for heaven. <clears throat> See the dog right there? At least I think it's a dog, yeah. This actually represents the end of the time of the, of the dog and the end of grace and mercy. And the fact that we need a, you need a dog to get into heaven. It's like, it represents the end of the time of the Gentiles. So, I mean, like even this grass down the bottom actually represents Islam, because it's green. <clears throat> so, like, eventually the ground itself will even rise up, like when when the bottomless pit opens, and the the ground rising up will actually represent Islam rising up. It will probably coincide with each other. It'll probably happen around the same time. <clears throat> but I mean, ju just know this. Like some, like sometimes, Charlotte Ferrum wears clothes that represent the light side and the good side. But sometimes she wears clothes that represents the evil side, like the darkness come in with with this black clothes right here, and here, <clears throat> like. Like, see Chris Ramsey, see Gordon Ramsey, and you even see Ramsey Street in Neighbours. And this has a lot to do with Pharaoh, Pharaoh Ramsey in Egypt. This is went to Egypt. Moses came out from underneath the burdens of Egypt. All of these map out the end of days. If you look right about here, you will begin to see that this is Obama's face. During the exodus of Moses, Pharaoh Ramses was seen as a black man. Yes, the Pharaoh during the exodus was a black man during Moses, Ramses. We are nearing another exodus. But if you can't see Obama's face, his eye and his mouth right there, realize he is this Pharaoh. So it's actually Ramses. Now... Sometimes names are slightly different, like an extra letter is added in and stuff like that. But don't be fools, because that's how the Illuminati and Freemasons trick people. You, you, you see, if you take the S there and put it on the end of that word, you get Ramses. <clears throat> this could even represent just like the Superman S as well. But, um... See, like, uh, like, Charlotte Theron has her hands full with daughter August and son Jackson at Lax Airport. This Jackson part has a lot to do with Michael Jackson, but it also represents that we're approaching the month of August. Like, <clears throat> see Michael Jackson Dangerous cover, and see this Ringling Brothers guy bringing this idol worship. He is the clown. 